On today's installment of Big Al's Garage, I'm trying not to bore you to death. How y'all doing and welcome to another installment of Big Al's Garage. Today I'm back here with an update on the 65 Chevy Corvair. As you know, I've been having a little bit of a time with this car lately. It started to run poorly, misfire a little bit. I thought it was the distributor points, replaced those, hasn't gotten better. That performance got worse and culminated with the car leaving me stranded on the side of the road. And it developed a loud clacking noise in the motor and it started running rough like it was down a cylinder. Well, we've got a couple of different issues at play. First, I strongly suspect that air is getting into the fuel system, which would obviously cause the car to stall out and not start. Replacing the fuel pump didn't solve the issue. I have replaced, as you saw in a previous video, the inline fuel filter and the lines leading to it, which were loose. That's one possible way the air was getting in. I've also discovered the driver's side carburetor has a bad accelerator pump. That will need to be rebuilt and replaced. Not the worst job in the world, but not the easiest either. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. But it's got to be done. More concerning, though, is the clacking noise and rough running from the motor. As you know from another previous video, I ran a compression check on the motor and found the number two cylinder has no compression. So I decided to dig a little deeper. Took the valve cover off and checked the rockers. I found nothing really wrong there. Some of them were loose, but they tightened up as the motor was rotated. So I decided to go a bit further and I acquired a tool called a boroscope that will allow me to see inside the cylinders. And when I checked the number two cylinder, I noticed I couldn't get a good look at the valves, unfortunately, with my cheap boroscope, but I got a good look at the piston. So I'm going to let you see that now. I'm going to put that image up on the screen. As you can see, we have what appear to be several dents in the piston. That is probably from the valve hitting the piston, which confirms my suspicion of a drop valve seat. Fortunately, the 140 Corvair motor is prone to dropping valve seats. So, the next step is going to be... Ah, our heads? We are going to be pulling the cylinder head off, Checking the cylinder for further damage, replacing the head gasket, replacing the pushrod tube seals, because I'll probably destroy those on the, in the process, and putting another head back on. I do happen to have a set of spare 140 heads, so that's definitely a good thing. It's going to be a rather laborious six-hour job. I'm going to need my dad's help for it. So hopefully that'll get done next month, and I'll finally have this thing back on the road. Of course, with an old car, it's almost never that simple. There are almost always unpleasant surprises. But you just gotta roll with the punches. Can't get upset about this kind of stuff, or you'll drive yourself crazy. So that's it for a while. That's probably going to be my last update on this car until next month. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next installment. Thank you very much for watching.